face. And oh baby, we'll introduce you to the newest faces, the area's first babies of 2012. Live from the Journal Broadcast Group Studios, KMTV Action 3 News starts now with your first warning forecast. Next on KMTV Action 3 News, bragging rights for newborns. Up next, we'll meet the first babies of 2012 and their proud parents who say their babies are extra special. Welcome back, everyone. The first day of 2012 brings many firsts. While most of us were either sleeping or out celebrating the new year, four parents were welcoming in the new year with two new babies. <laughs> Not even a day old and already, Elliot Mitchell Oliver is extra special. It's kind of shocking. We, we were actually expecting it to be here before the New Year's, and it was just kind of a, a bonus, I guess. Yeah. Elliot's late arrival makes him the first baby of 2012 in the Metro. He was born at 1233 this morning in Council Bluffs. We thought we were going to have it last night when we came to the hospital, and then... A few things shifted and it ended up being this morning. Elliot's proud parents say their seven pound, six ounce baby boy is healthy, happy, and of course, unique. Not everybody gets to be born the first baby the whole area. I think he's just cute. <laughs> Vying for Elliot's title of first baby is Meyer John Fredrickson. He was born at 223 this morning, two hours after Elliot, but he'll claim the title for the first baby of 2012 in Omaha. The nurses told us that there'd be a good chance that we might be the first ones in Omaha. Weighing in at 7 pounds, 15 ounces. He's a big Husker fan. Meyer is already showing his Husker pride. It's pretty exciting. It's something you'll remember forever. Some good stories to tell. Both Elliot and Meyer and their moms are healthy and doing well. And it looks like baby Meyer arrived just in time to see the Huskers in action tomorrow when they take on South Carolina.